गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट ऑफ क्लास सेवन माई सेल्फ अंजनी पांडे एंड आई विल टीच यू इंग्लिश लिटरेचर एंड नाउ बुक इज रूट एंड विंग्स नाउ वी विल स्टार्ट टूडे योर फर्स्ट चैप्टर एंड योर फर्स्ट चैप्टर इज द चॉकलेट रूम आई थिंक एवरी वन यू अंडरस्टैंड द चॉकलेट मे बी यू हैव टेस्टेड ऑल्सो सो हियर वन एक्टिविटी गेट सेट लुक एट द फॉलोइंग चॉकलेट प्रोडक्ट्स rank them from 1 to 5 according to your preference here are some uh, chocolate products here given different types of taste which one you like the most you have to uh, write here 1 2 3 4 5 here are some one chocolate cookies chocolate muffins chocolate cake chocolate cream and chocolate shake so here in the in the circle box given whatever you have to mention 1 2 3 4 whatever you like the most you have to mention and second point is would you like to visit a chocolate factory what it means you you want to to know what is happening in the chocolate factory so it depends on you yes or no and second uh, and what is more here what do you expect to find a chocolate factory discuss and, and now suppose that you yes you have said yes and now you have you have gone in any chocolate fa- factory so what you will see there what you will find so that you have to discuss here you have to imagine that what you are expecting there so now let us start read this chapter the chocolate room so i am going to read listen carefully then after i explain it so here uh, some points about this chapter read this interesting except from the book charlie and the chocolate factory by word renowned british author roald dahl a movie based on the book has been a big hit among movie goers in the recent past so who has written he this chapter a chocolate factory here given this chapter actually written by the author roald dahl and that this story actually taken from this this uh, book Charlie and the Chocolate Factory And now here we start The story revolves around the adventures of a young boy Charlie Bucket inside the biggest chocolate factory of the world in his hometown It is owned by an eccentric chocolatier Willy Wonka Charlie comes from a very poor family He lives with his bed ridden maternal and paternal grandparents as well as his parents he is respectful towards everyone in his life and he is undernourished but does not take any extra food because it would deprive another family member of food he has so many reasons to complain but he never does so he is fascinated by the stories that grandpa joe narrates to him about willy wonka and he and his chocolate factory they come to know that willy wonka has secretly hidden a golden ticket in five chocolates these chocolates were then sent to different parts of the world along with the other chocolates anyone who found the tickets would be allowed to visit the factory and would win a supply of confectionery for his entire life now i am listen uh, explaining those <coughs> this two so listen carefully the story revo- around the adventure of a young boy charlie bucket in this story there is a boy named charlie bucket and this one adventure boy he was curious to know each and everything what is happening in the real world and he has in this biggest chocolate factory of the world in his hometown this boy charlie bucket was curious to know about the adventurous thing that was happening in the chocolate factory biggest chocolate factory in his hometown and who was the owner actually here given it was owned by an eccentric chocolatier willy wonka who was the owner owner of the chocolate factory was willy wonka and this person was eccentric unconventional and here chocolate means the person who was selling or making so owner name here willy wonka and here given the background of the boy charlie Charlie who was belonging from a very poor family he was his maternal and paternal grandparents as well as everyone they are living in unconditional means very poor 
and but he was very respectful to everyone every means every person of the family member he was very respectful and he is undernourished he was not getting proper food it means balanced diet he was not getting balanced diet but he was not asking more money why because if he will ask more more food more something then what maybe another another member of the family they will not get proper food so this is the reason whatever he was given so he was going to eat it not asking more food nor not, not anything else and he has so many reasons to complain but he never does so here given he has so many reasons to complain maybe he can complain that why you are giving me so much so little little much food but he never complained about it and he was fascinated with the story that grandpa john reads to him about willy wonka and mostly charlie's grandfather mostly he uh, grandfather he was telling uh, charlie what chocolate factory's story a story about it means a story about willy wonka and what he one day he has told that they came to know that willy wonka has secretly hidden a golden tickets in five chocolate in his factory willy wonka the owner of the chocolate factory actually he has uh, instructed and he has hidden golden tickets golden tickets in five chocolate whoever he will get he will get chance to visit in chocolate factory and these chocolate were actually sent to the different parts of the world and anyone who will find the tickets that person that boy that anyone who will find who was allowed to visit the factory and 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 he will win he or she whoever will win a supply of confetti it means every time they will send what the sweets the chocolates and other things entire life whole life they will get what sweet chocolate etc okay thank you